Welcome to Conversations with Whitney. I got my tea. Let's jump into it. Okay, ladies, let's do this. So I went to go see the Barbie film and I must admit, I was actually pretty surprised that I really enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the trailer, I had a lot of bias towards it. I was like, Ugh, I'm not gonna get my coins to that movie. That movie looks like it's about to be one of those like really weird Hollywood films. Probably, you know, I'm, not my thing. Um, and especially cause I was with a Barbie girl, like I'm not a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I felt like for me personally, this wasn't a movie I was gonna go see. And I'm glad that I did um, because I thought they did a really good job with kind of painting our society and what we're going through, right? The whole film premise is, it's kind of showing two systems, right? The patriarchy and the matriarchy, while also dealing with the individual within those systems. To me, I feel like what the filmmakers were doing, they really wanted to kind of keep you in those worlds. When you're in the real world, you're in the real world. And when you're in the Barbie land, you're in the Barbie land. And the thing about the Barbie land, it's the Barbie land is very indicative of how women are in the Barbie world, right? Like when you think about, girls who play with Barbie. Like Ken isn't really relevant in Barbie life, right? It's more so all centered around the Barbies and it's their world and they're like the best and they're the greatest and the men are just kind of just there to be there with no purpose, rhyme or reason. Um, and what's interesting to me is when they go into the real world and you know, Ken sees like, oh snap, like men got jobs, men got careers, men run stuff here. Like, hold up, they got purpose. Like, no, I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. They there he is. Doctor. Did somebody get security. He goes back and brings all of that into the matriarchy, right? And it completely changes now it's a patriarchy. And I think what's so interesting to me about how the filmmakers did the story, it's like they wanted to keep you within the concepts of what this world is like especially from the perspective of the people playing with them, right? Because when you think about the Barbie world, like when you watch little girls play with Barbies, like typically they usually play with the girl Barbies. Like the guy Barbies are like few and far between. And if they're in the story, like they're in there for like a two hot seconds and then they forget about them, right? Because it's all about Barbie and her Barbie dream house, right? And so you see that depicted in the film. And I thought that they did a really cool job of showing like both systems and how they both do not work. A matriarchy and a patriarchy, neither one is gonna work for a complete unity of both genders. I think a lot of people want to make this film very like agenda based or very political and make it a whole like wokeism type of thing. But I think that it's that's the whole point of the film. I think it's supposed to pick at the point that the systems that we're creating, the way that we're shaping the world, how we're seeing in perspectives is completely different. You know, when you see Barbie go from the Barbie land to the real world and you see these guys like aggressively attack her, I think that they were over dramatizing it on purpose because you got to understand in her world, everything is perfect. Everything is great. We saved the day. Barbie is the hero, right? And then you go in the real world and it's like, girl, um, we women out here are struggling. Okay, we're going through it. Men are going through it. Women are going through it. I started to get all these weirdo feelings. It's anxiety. I have it too. There's like a whole cycle of things that are happening in the real world that your, you know, fake bubble world that you're living in doesn't understand or comprehend. We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. And I think that it's really showing that uh, depiction with how they went about the over drama of showing like the men slapping her on the butt or like the cat calls and all these different things. Also staring at me. I find it fascinating some of the reviews where like a lot of the guys are like, this doesn't still happen to men, women aren't dealing with this. And I'm like, it does. Like I literally watch guys do it. Like I remember hanging out in my, especially in my 20s, I remember hanging out with these guys and we were working on a production set and these girls were walking by and these guys were just like literally screaming at the girls across the street. Like, hey girl, like, let me get some of that. And I'm like, what the heck is happening? And the girl's like, like oh, leave me alone. And she's like, you ugly anyways. And I'm like, this is what we do. This is what this is rude. Like this is horrible. You don't do that. And they're laughing because they think it's funny. And I'm like, it's not. It's not cute. It's, it's, it's actually not attractive. But, but that's a reality that a lot of women live in. Not every woman. You know, I'm not one of those people who adhere to the patriarchy system thing. Like where it's like, oh, we're on the patriarchy. <laughs> like we live in a society that is very, very free in comparison to a lot of people. You know, growing up in a Haitian culture, I've gotten to see perspective outside of the U.S. And when you look at other countries, whether it's in the Middle East or other cultures like women don't have as much power as we do here in the u.s like women do not get to start businesses and be doctors and speak on video about you know their thoughts and opinions in some places it's like shut down be quiet you don't have drinks okay like that's how it is and so for me i look at the freedoms that we have here in america especially as women um we have the opportunity to do and be whatever we want to be which is kind of the concept of what barbie is alluding to at least the what barbie was created for right is that women can be limitless um but in the end though, though women have freedoms and though we're not oppressed, it doesn't mean that we're not really dealing with 
it's these issues. Like there are women who deal with this, unfortunately, these uh, issues that were brought up in the film. And I thought one of the most powerful scenes in the film was America for her speech. You know, I know a lot of people have like different opinions about it, um, but for me, I, the reason why I enjoyed it and I liked it a lot and I thought it was a very necessary thing to be said, it's because a lot of women deal with this. You know, there's a lot of things that they, she said in that speech. I was like, yeah, like, especially as a woman starting her own business, there's some things that I'm thinking about, things that I normally wouldn't have. Or now that I'm getting older, like there's a lot of things that you deal with in society. You know, I grew up in a Haitian culture. So in a Haitian culture, like men kind of have, there's like, there's, there's roles and men kind of have that head of the household Hold role and women kind of fall in line and depending on you know the structure and culture not all of them are like that but a lot of them are um and for me growing up as a kid i remember how difficult it was especially being a girl who played sports like in my culture it was like why are you letting your daughter play sports why is your daughter coming home late why is this why is this why is this read my the men it was no questions asked right and so yes it's different for everybody like the the, the oppressions that we quote unquote feel and i hate the word oppression because it's not always like super oppression but it is some kind of like pressure or you know holding you back in some instances but like we all deal with different things as women and I think that this film kind of highlighted that and really made a point to emphasize like hey okay yes women have freedoms yes women can do certain things but don't act like there aren't other things happening underneath the layers that women are dealing with in this world every single day you're gonna start getting sad and mushy and complicated She's not dead, she's just having an existential crisis. On the flip side, I thought it was interesting that they kind of brought into perspective the men's situation, right? You have Ken, he feels hopeless, feels like he has no purpose on this island. I just don't know who I am without you. You're Ken. But it's Barbie and Ken. There is no just Ken. These dudes didn't even have homes, right? Barbie got dream houses, they over there on the beach living. Like, who knows what the heck they doing, right? Like, they didn't have homes, they were homeless. And so it was kind of the concept of like, yeah, when these girls are playing with these dolls, they don't care about these guys. And, and I think that in retrospect, if you look at it from a humanistic perspective, you kind of get that understanding. Like in today's society, a lot of men feel that way. A lot of men feel like women don't see them, you know, for purpose and don't see them as, as people. Like, they kind of get pushed away. And I thought, to me, the beautiful picture that they kind of show, which I think is important for us to see, especially people who consider themselves feminists or people who consider themselves, you know, to be very the masculine macho men, like the pendulum always swings, you know? The reason why Ken brought patriarchy into the matriarchy system was because the matriarchy system was suffocating them, right? The matriarchy system had no room for them. The patriarch matriarchy system didn't care about them. The matriarchy system kind of put them in a submissive role and ran everything. Hey Barbie, Yeah. can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Versus the patriarchy system, quote unquote, is doing the exact same thing, right? It's women are in the submissive role and men run everything. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep happening even in the world we live in today. Toxic masculinity is going to continue to grow as much as the toxic feminism grows because at the end of the day, when you hit somebody, they're going to hit back. And that's what we're seeing happening in our society. And so I thought this film did a really good job of like highlighting like the systems at play, the individuals at play, the impact of it on each individual and how they're both dealing with it and how our solutions that we have are not working. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. And so I think that we live in a society where it's very evident like, okay, we need to do better. We need to maybe figure out new solutions, newer things that are gonna work. How do we unite as one and work together and not create this whole system of matriarchy, patriarchy thing, right? Cause I, that was like one of the things I didn't like in the film. I didn't like how they turned the men against each other and then how the women like took over power again. And it was like, hey, we're back to the matriarchy. It's like, uh, it didn't work the first time. It's not gonna work again, right? And so I think that was kind of interesting too. Like they kind of brought that perspective a little bit. And I think that there's this delusional aspect where because it's a film, the characters are supposed to immediately change and everything was supposed to be perfect and you're supposed to show the example of what the world's gonna be like. I was like, in real life, even if you brought to these women attention, which they did, is like, hey, this matriarchy thing ain't working. Men should, these men, these Ken dolls should have a say in the world. It's gonna take time for that to, you know, transgress and like grow and actually be a change. But I feel like in today's society, that's kind of where we're at, right? Women want to be able to have a seat at the table. Men need to make room for women to have a seat at the table, but we can't go into it wanting to remove men off the table completely so that we're the only ones at the table either, right? So it's like finding that balance. And so for me, 
all in all, I thought the film, you know, does it have its issues? Absolutely. But for me, I was like, if you look at the film for what it is at face value, um, I thought it had a lot that it was saying. Um, they said a lot without saying a lot, you know what I mean? And they were smart because at the end of the day, it's a brand they got to uphold. I feel like this film definitely makes you think, this film definitely makes you open your eyes and ears to perspective and helps you to see like what our life is like, what our world is like, and actually asking the question like, what are we going to do to better it? As opposed to continuing down this same conversational route, which is women are oppressed, men are the issue, that's it. Like, no, it's so much deeper than that, right? Like women are dealing with stuff that they're dealing with, women are dealing with stuff they're dealing with, but how are we gonna to come to the table and actually make it where we all can work together as opposed to divide it? If you wanna go see the film, you should go see it for yourself. If you've seen it, let me know. Let me, like, what are your thoughts about it? Um, I do think a lot of people are taking the film way too seriously. I mean, it's a movie at the end of the day, it's a party. Um, it wasn't like supposed to be a life-saving film. I think the whole point of the film was to kind of highlight things in dramatic, you know, form. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. To kind of make awareness and attention to certain things that we're dealing with and poking fun at like our ideal systems, right? Our matriarchy and patriarchy systems that we are literally in the fight of today, right? It's the feminist fourth wave feminist movement versus the toxic masculinity movement. That's what we're seeing because of all of these underlying things that we don't deal with, you know what I mean? And so we're just watching the pendulum swing back and forth instead of actually creating solutions so that we don't have to keep swinging that pendulum so we can stop getting knocked over, you know, and actually do things that are gonna benefit and help both genders to reach the places that they desire to reach. So I, like I said, I enjoyed the film. You know, I try not to take it too seriously. Um, a lot of people are going to look for a lot of like things in it and I'm like, oh my goodness, like already I see it on the internet. I'm like, you know what, more power to you. Take it how you want to. But I enjoyed it surprisingly. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So yeah, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, how did you feel about the film? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? What are your thoughts? And um, we've reached the end. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more conversations, explorations, discoveries, and truths. Our website is officially up, so you can go check that out as well to be able to read articles, read things about the limitless life, women, stories, all this different kind of fun stuff that we are talking about. And we'll continue to add more content, add more content, add more content. Um, until then, though, thanks again for watching. My name is Whitney, and I'm out.